Deep dive, Chiefs, Texans. So you heard Patrick Mahomes. You want to start with the Chiefs, though, versus the Texans D then? Yeah, sure. Let's do okay. that. So First he, of all, I like the Sean Watson's outfit if you're watching on YouTube. L yeah. Lumberjack look? Yeah. Or I don't know. Maybe he's Rugged. like he's digging for gold because he got a lot of gold on his necklace, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, damn. Yeah, he's look looking at that. Yeah, it's uh, a good, it's a good look. Good. And you pull back the, the hat a little bit so right. you can... You see the waves the on the hair, hair hairline. Looking good. Yeah, yeah, that's a, looking that's a good. good call. And yeah. then Patrick Mahomes too. I don't. I mean, like my voice is a little weird today. I, it feels like his voice is different this year than it was last year. Is Remember he, how everyone made a big deal about like his, his voice? Kermit the Frog voice? Yeah, I feel like it's not. He's trying. He's trying to talk more like this this yeah, year. Yeah, have I like think a he little is. from the diaphragm because he doesn't want to sound. You know, like, like that. Maybe I'm just more used to it. But I feel like he talks. He's less different. Kermit the Frog. He's less Kermity this yep. year. Um, Go back to the way you were. Less Kermity, more hobbly, though, because he does have that ankle injury. So yeah. he, he doesn't think it's been affecting him. He threw three more touchdowns here, but he's clearly not as mobile as he would be no. if he didn't have that injury. No, and uh, no mobi not the mobility. You know, the offensive line's not playing great right now as far as pack pass protection is concerned. Um, you know, yeah, they don't run the ball, as you know. Yeah. We've done deep dives on them, I feel like, the last couple of weeks. Well, yeah, they're I mean, people are obsessed with it. I get it. Are there, is there anything that was different in this game than you've seen the, la the last couple of games with them? Because, yeah, we've heard, you know, obviously they didn't have the running game. No, I, Offensive line yeah. hasn't been good. Right. Were there uh, any other red flags or improvements that, than the last couple of weeks? Well, he's still amazing. I mean, we, we know that. I mean, this is still, this is really a really special player. I will say this. Uh, there were some off-target throws where I felt like there was a few throws in the game, more than a few. I wouldn't say it if it was just like two or three. I felt like there was, uh, you know, eight, ten throws where he didn't step into throws. You know, you've heard me say, like, if you're standing on a clock, right, and you're going to throw a football and you want to throw the ball at 11 o'clock, yeah. man, does he step at 9 and 8.30 a whole lot? And that's not always going to lead to, you know, on-target throws or uncork all of his power that's available to him in that special, special arm. Uh, now, he's special, but I think the, really the big thing at the end of the day, more than anything with their offense, is – you know, I'm going to go back to it. The offense is built on players. It's built on his ability to, oh, I got Watkins or Hill one-on-one, -on -one and they got a step, yeah. and I'm going to throw the rifle, or I'm going to throw the bomb, and we're going to put it on target. That's what they are. That's what they're built to do. And Tyree Kill, he didn't play a ton in the game yesterday. They limited his yeah. snaps. He had an effect, of course, and certainly with that first touchdown. He's just, really good. I mean, right? like you, you think about show. it, and you think about, okay, he's a burner. Right. right? He can just get separation and – the dude has a vertical leap that's insane oh, on that first you touchdown. You think he can dunk? <laughs> yeah. yeah, with his head, maybe. I mean, yeah, he can. That, that first touchdown he caught, it just like he outjumped. I mean, the he was four feet in the air. His feet were four feet off the ground. Justin Reed was there. He yes. was sitting there. Yes. He was in perfect position, and Tyreek just jumped over him and took the ball from him. Yes. Um, so he obviously, I mean, it's one of those things we were talking about with the Cowboys. It's like when you don't have him, of course you're going to be a little uh, a little rough yes. offensively. You're going right. to struggle to make plays. Definitely. And, hey, yeah, they got him back. That's great, but they're still missing another key part and that's Sammy Watkins we can't yeah. forget that and then they're missing their first pick of the NFL draft Eric Fisher at left tackle so they got little issues in that alone let alone um, and we'll get to the other side of the ball their yeah. defense isn't helping them out sure. and we'll get into that conversation I mean it's hard to be a really good offense when you only have three plays in the fourth quarter I mean that's how many plays he had in the fourth quarter. That's he played crazy. three plays. Am I right about that? Maybe it was four. I, no, I think they only had like yeah. two drives in the I second mean, half. It yeah, it, like it was three ball. drives in the second three half. Three drives in the second three half. Three drives in the second half. And I'm going to even, you know, the fourth quarter. I mean, just, just so you know, you know, the Texans had the ball for 13 minutes and 35 seconds. That was, means there's a minute and 25 that's seconds crazy. left over for the greatest quarterback in the league right now. So you barely well, had the ball. You still lost only by a touchdown. Yeah, that's it's, right. It's a team sport. And, uh, you know, that can affect you from from that aspect. And um, I, I think the, the big thing is this, though, this is the third week in a row. We've seen man to man coverage just across the board. Yeah. OK, there's just not enough being done to beat it. They're a little too predictable. I see a few too many of the same play, same call too much, yeah. in my opinion. OK. And, hey, maybe you can get away with it if Sammy Watkins is healthy and everything like that. I get it. But, you know, teams are comfortable playing man-to-man -man against them right now because they're going, we got a good feel for what they're doing. So let's play them man-to-man. -man. 
and make it contested. And, you know, we'll cheat the safety sure. towards a Tyree kill like they did yesterday a little bit in certain situations. So he just gets a little scared to throw it there. And then you try to go find somebody else. Yeah, Demarcus Robinson's good. You know, uh, we know that. But still, at the same time, you know, Hardman's good and he's got potential, but he's not like special, special yet. And I really think it's a little bit of the predictability of the offense more that's affecting them more than anything right now. And it's a little nitpicky, right? Because yeah. I think it's still a, what, a top five. Oh, I think it's even more than that. So, yeah, you're so it's, right. It's a little nitpicky. No, we're being it's number the, three in football. So you're right. Started the game with two 90 yard touchdown drives in the first quarter. And exactly so right. So their defense is making their offense look worse, if that makes any sense. Yes. You know, it's just they, they're losing these games. And so you find areas where they're not executing. Um, offensive had the big penalty okay right yeah. where you know the the controversial you know what the hell was that which is really weird by the NFL okay with Travis Kelsey oh, the yeah. picked up pass interference call so, so yeah uh, there was a lot made of that that you right know, that Patrick Mahomes saw the flag which he did not to, let's just set that straight right now you don't you don't think he saw the well flag. I know he didn't because the guy didn't throw the ball the, throw the flag until the ball was almost at the five yard line in the air oh, so we can end that discussion right now now, maybe he saw the guy being held, and, hey, maybe he thought, oh, they're going to throw it on there. But he was throwing that ball to the corner no matter what. So that was an interception any way, shape, or form, okay? He was going there. The guy was supposed to run a post corner, or not a post corner. The slot guy was supposed to go to the corner and got caught off in some trash with bodies and couldn't get there, and he threw it. So he made a bad play. But nonetheless, that does not take it away that I don't know what the hell the NFL did there. I mean, okay, if it's not pass interference, I get it. They know, you got to throw the ball to that guy for it to be pass interference. It should have been defensive holding at yeah. the very least. And that was just an awkward – Right. I, and, and, again, we can certainly blame that play. I'm just going to say this, too. I'm not going to blame the game on that play because there were some bad calls on the other side, too. There were some, some calls on the, the Texans where I, want, I was, went like, what? That is pitiful. So – uh, overall, I did not think it was a well-officiated game in general. That's what I'm just going to say. And, yeah, the Chiefs being a little one-dimensional, not being at full strength, what the Texans, being a hero. What the Texans do well? Who, who stood out to you on the Texans well, side? Well, the Texans, the Texans are big up front. Okay, so they can stop the run. They, so they can put all their basket into, like, hey, front four, middle linebacker, you guys worry about the run. Secondary, you guys got to stop all these speed boomers and Mahomes. And, you know, so they have one great aspect of their defense, which allows them to put more eggs into the, oh, let's stop this part of the offense basket, right? right. Uh, that's where they're good. And, you know, they're, they're, be they're, they're actually better in the secondary than I expect them to be. Okay. Big blow, Bradley Roby getting hurt. I just saw that before we went on. He has done a nice job. But Reed at safety, Jaleel Adai, you know, he has done well. Um, who else? I just want to make sure I'm not missing anybody else there that just jumps out to me. And to Sean Gibson, his ability to cover tight ends and get involved there. You know, they, Lonnie Johnson, a rookie who's a big corner who gave Travis Kelsey, he was the guy that kind of threw Travis Kelsey to the ground. Yeah. He can give some of the big receivers and big tight ends an issue. Uh, but their size and, you know, J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt popped in some big moments of the game. Their pass rush popped in some big moments. Chiefs are up 10-3. Right? They're up. Yeah, I just want to make sure I got this right. Uh, maybe it was 10 to nothing. Or no, they're up th 7 to nothing. Sorry, I'm going to get yeah. this right, okay? 7 to nothing. They, on the first drive, they went down and scored a touchdown. If you remember this, the Texans fumbled the first play. They had the ball. Hyde right. fumbled up the middle. So now the Chiefs got the ball again, and you're going to go, oh my gosh, they're going to go up 14 nothing. And then, like, Deshaun Watson hasn't even thrown a ball yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, J.J. Watt saved the day. He saved the day. He whooped Mitchell Schwartz on the right side on second and third down when there's going to be people open for Mahomes to throw a touchdown, and he got pressure to affect the play to where Mahomes couldn't throw them the ball and ultimately made them kick the field goal. So now instead of being down 14 nothing, it's only 10 nothing. Texans go down and get a field goal. It's 10-3. Little things like that are huge in a football game. The Texans players just made some plays uh, right. you know, when they needed to. All right. Does that does that wrap yeah, up? Yeah, I think I, I think Texans D. I think so. You know, we talked about a little bit of the predictability of the past game. My big thing is they're never going to run the ball. They still have to find more man-to-man -man beaters. You got to find more picks, rubs, shallow crosses, all of that. And they had a lot of screens in the first half. Yeah. They can't invent enough screens. Listen, if they want to play, we're going to throw the ball a million miles down the field. Then. You got to have a million things to throw the ball sure. short, 
right? So you can put the defense in a bind. Like, damn, we want to get underneath all these deep routes, but damn, they're throwing screens every other play. So they can't invent enough screens. They they need to like go to infinity and beyond for the screens. Do you know Remember, what movie that's from, Infinity and Beyond? Yeah, uh, Toy Story. Yeah, wow, you watched a movie for the first I time. I haven't watched it, but I'm familiar with the line. Yeah. Um, right. So you remember last week how it was a big deal when I put Andy Reid on notice? Remember that? Yeah. I, I don't do that lately. I yeah. put him on notice. I'm keeping him on notice. You're keeping him on notice. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, needs up, he needs to up his game a little bit. He's not bit right off now. notice. Yeah. I'm going to keep him on notice. I get it. I'm, I'm there with you. Um, so let's go over to Texans O, Chiefs D. Yep. Deshaun Watson, good again. He had a couple TDs on the ground, 280 yards, one touchdown. Uh, this was kind of interesting. When he got the ball out quick, uh, two and a half seconds or less, he was 23 of 25. So it was like, boom, boom, getting the ball out quick, making a lot of short passses, some yep. intermediate yep. areas. Um, so the numbers look pretty good for, yes. for Watson here in the, in the Texans. What did the film look like? Well, the, the film looked really damn good, too. You know, I think, um, you know, the Chiefs defense is not good. They have to first off, I just, they got to figure something out. And my advice with the Chiefs would really be like, you, you can't play this slow death defense. They got to figure out what they want to do. And, and my advice would be start yeah, fast death. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, because at least Patrick Mahomes gets to get back on the field. It's true. Instead of sitting over there doing nothing. Yeah. If all your money is in the passing game and the offense, it's not doing anything good next to the Gatorade bottles. Yeah. Okay? So, to me, you know, right now, they're being like, they're not good at anything. They're half a nothing at everything. All right? They can't stop the run. You know, their secondary is not bad. I look at their pass coverages, and it's not perfect, but it's not bad. They're Okay. But they're being compromised because they can't stop the run. So then at times they have to do things in pass coverage where I don't think Steve Spagnolo and Andy Reid really want to do it. Yeah. But they're going, damn, it's hide up the middle for five, hide up the middle for five. Mm -hmm. And they're having to do things to crowd the line of scrimmage and then putting their secondary in some tough spots that way. That would be the big thing uh, overall. But Billy O'Brien, the Texans are tough. He always stays consistent with the run. Carl, I mean, uh, Carlos Hyde. 116 for Carlos Hyde. Yeah, he runs hard. And they're going to give him, you know, the carries to continue to find, a, find that rhythm and wear people out and do that way. But the big thing is the front seven for the Chiefs, especially without Chris Jones, they're just not good. I don't know the way to say it. Defensive tackles, nothing special. You know, Frank Clark is having a solid year, but he's being paid like he's a superstar. and He's not showing up like a superstar. <laughs> Linebackers, eh. Okay, I mean, their secondary is really the bread and butter of their defense, but they're not like the New England Patriots where you're going to just say, oh, man, I'm up and we'll figure it out the sure. rest of this stuff. No, they're not that talented. They're a good secondary, and Tyron Matthews good, and the rookie Thornhill's good, and, you know, Breland has some issues in man-to-man -man coverage, and Sharkavius Ward's good, and they got Morris Claiborne. They got some things there, but I really would. I would become a blitz team if I'm the Kansas City Chiefs. I would reinvent the wheel and say, we're coming. We're blitzing, and either we're going to cause havoc and get sacks and cause turnovers, or we're going to let up 60-yard touchdown and Mahomes will be back on the field. Yeah. But we're not going to lose with him next to the Gatorade bottles. Sure. I think that really has to be the big thing overall more than anything, and that's really the issue with them. Watson is phenomenal. We know that. Played phenomenal. So deadly with some of the things he can do. And there were some drops, too. Will Fuller, who had the great game two weeks ago or the week yes. before this week. He yeah. dropped three touchdown passes. Yeah. In the game, you know, and I think – I think two of them, or one of them, it didn't matter because they ended up scoring a touchdown on the drive anyways. But the other two, I think they ended up settle for field goals. Deshaun Watson, I mean, I'm not Deshaun Watson, uh, Hopkins dropped a touchdown pass over he the did. middle. Yeah, yeah. so they, they, they didn't even, you know, click on all, all cylinders that way in the passing game, but, but did enough to get it done. No sack for Deshaun Watson for two straight games now. That had been a problem for yeah. him and the Houston Well, Texans. they're getting the ball out quickly, like you're saying. Getting the ball out quick. You know, they're being smart there. Uh, the Chiefs' D. So last year, they gave up 405 yards per game. Right. Second most in the NFL. Right. Do you think they're giving up more or fewer yards per game this year than they were last year? How many was it last year? 405 per game, mm. total yards. Gosh, damn. I know they're giving up like 160-something in the run game right now, so... That means you only got to give up a little over 200 in the pass game to bit. So I'm going to go their worst right now. 406. Damn. One, one yard worse. They Is are. that right? Holy yeah, 406 crap. 406 per game. Yeah, that's not good. You know, you, you just can't be half of nothing. Yeah. You got to be something. And uh, I really think that's what they need to be. They need to just – Steve Spagnuolo needs to do what he did 
like Tom Brady, New England Patriots, Super Bowl 42, come out with a million different blitzes, zone blitzes, man blitzes, just throw the kitchen sink at people. Maybe you cause havoc. If you don't, at least Mahomes and company are back on the field and get in some rhythm. But it's hard to win football yeah. games when the best part of your team is on the sideline for the third week in a row for the majority of the game. Pete got in my ear and he said, don't half-ass two things, whole-ass one That's thing. right. I like right? a big whole ass. That's right. I like a Ron's big whole ass. Who likes half an ass? No, you want to do the whole ass. I want the whole ass. Right. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.